Kathy back with Big Barn Blooms. How are you guys? Yeah, I'm a couple minutes late. Sorry about that. Anyway, get myself set up here. Let's see what we got going. A couple things I need. So, how is everyone? Let me set up my iPad. I just threw a bunch of stuff on this table. As usual, you know how I do. It's like, throw it up there, see if we use it. So let me get situated. When you pop on, say hi, tell me where you're watching from. We're doing another wheelbarrow today, but this time we're doing neutral, except for the carrots. So we're gonna keep this guy pretty neutral and just greens and whites, rather than all the different pastels, the pinks, the yellows, the raspberries. We're just gonna calm it down a little bit, just a little bit. And we're using the white carrots again. I'm excited about these. Did anyone get a hold of these from Home Goods? Oh, I love these. I wish they had them in, in the big ones, right? But they just have the littles. But we're going to use some of those. Let me set up my iPad. This thing is just so big on this table. I'm like, oh my goodness. It's, it's huge. Got to find room for everything. So for those of you that were able to get a Hobby Lobby wheelbarrow, if you're in Reading, there's still some in there. It was there the other day. They, they have some of these guys left. And I'm actually, let's see, I'm actually, when I get these done, I think I'm going to list them in my shop. So we're going to see what it takes to ship one of these bad boys. So I've already had some requests for it, so we'll see. All right. There. Sure, iPad wants to update right now. No, no. Do not update, please. Okay, it's not a good time for me. Okay. Hi, Dee. Yeah, I am looking forward to this, Dee. I think it's going to be nice. It's, this is more... My jam with the neutrals. I like I like looking at the bright Easter arrangements and everything, but when I decorate, I'm a little calmer in my house. So, hi Frenchie. What'd she say? I'm trying to look. Oh, I'm sorry. You're home with the cold. Frenchie sent me a picture of that pocket basket that I um, did the tutorial on. She made one. Frenchie, that was gorgeous. It was prettier than mine. You did so good. Do I have permission to um, post a picture of that? I just, I meant to text you and ask you, but it is so pretty, oh my goodness. It looks so pretty. Okay, so let's put these guys aside because we won't need these till later. I already glued all my little sticks on so you don't have to see me gluing sticks. That, that took a little bit of time. But on this one, there's my orange. I'm like, do I add the orange carrots? Maybe we just do all greens and forget all these orange. I mean, he's got the little carrots on him. Do we really need more? Maybe just a few white ones in this? You know, our little tiny white carrots and leave the big orange ones out. And then I thought, well, I could set them in. I'm thinking of not making this so full in an area where you could just set an egg or set a carrot in rather than installing them. It might be a better look. I don't know. What I like... The idea I like is creating it neutral, and I'm even thinking of not gluing this guy in, just making a little platform of moss, and that way after Easter, um, I could just add a few more greens, and it could go through spring. But I mean, a bunny is springy, right? <laughs> a bunny is springy, but you know, some people are like, when Easter's done, the bunnies go away. So it could be a little more versatile. And then think about it, if this is all greens and whites, Pretty much, you could use it through summer, throw some sunflowers in it, if I didn't install all the carrots, eggs, and the bunny, if I just set some here and there, right? So I'm thinking maybe that's the way to do it. Get more use out of this puppy. Um, oh, thank you, Frenchie. I'll post that a little bit later today. I'm excited for everybody to see it because you did such a good job on that. Um, Frenchie would love the loose bunny as well. I just think it, it gives you 
more time with this arrangement or this huge wheelbarrow. Um, if I use this in my kitchen or on my porch or wherever, I would like the option of taking it right through the summer. I mean, in the fall, you could put some pumpkins in it. You could keep going, right? Christmas, put greens. Use it year-round as long as you don't install the um, seasonal items, as long as they're just sitting there. So let's try that. Let's try this time. Let's, let's try to just set things in rather than, you know, gluing them all in. I think it'll be easy. Not a big deal. Yeah, and you can use it. I mean, when you do this kind of investment, this is a big arrangement that takes a lot of florals. And even, even this, I think, was 40 bucks. So by the time you're done, you're really getting up there in cost. So um, it would be nice to be able to continue to use it. So Bob got me a tea. I got my iced tea. I need a little caffeine today. I'm having allergy issues. I've never had allergies in my life since COVID, or this is a little bit of my long COVID acting up. You can hear my voice is a little raspy. I'm like, what is going on? Man, I just can't kick this stuff. So anyway, I'm hoping a little caffeine will help it. Okay, so this is already tiered. You can see there's a top piece and a lower piece. But I'm going to cut a smaller little piece on top, not this big, to bring the bunny up a little bit higher. Because remember how the last one was kind of like, he was getting lost as I put the flowers in? So we don't want that. So let's cut a little piece of this to put, I don't need that big of a piece really, just something for him to hang out on. So do I have any down there? Wait, I might have one big enough. I'm like, what scraps do I have that I could use? Because he is going to sit on there. I think this will work. I have this long piece. He's going to sit on there, and I will put some greens around him, but I'm not going to glue them in. So let's see how this would work. If I just... I think I'm going to bring him to one side, let's see. If it's going to face this way, I've got to figure out which way he's going. It's going to go more like that. So I need it to go a little bit like that. Gosh, he's pretty tall in there now. But see, I want to put, um, as I just start measuring, i gotta, I got to kind of figure this out. And what I'm going to do, okay, these go toward the end. Let me put these back here because this is not a very big... Uh, area for all these greens to be up here. I'm going to try to use lamb's, lamb's ear. For those of you that love this and I keep teasing it on all these designs and then I'm like, nope, we're not going to use it. So maybe today will be the day since we're all neutral. And then I've got these, these waxy green ones that I picked up from Michael's. We're going to use some of those because if we're going to go green, I don't want to go all pastel green, all sage green. I want some dark waxy shiny greens in there these have kind of like a little yellow tip but that'll be fine not this one don't look at that this one so let's put these right here so i can reach back here and grab what i need as we go and not have this table so overwhelming with piles of supplies and this way i can roll this little guy over a little more so i know he's facing away from you but I'm trying to see what i want to use with him is more of these guys this time. Remember these? So if he's up a little higher, it'll look a little more balanced. Let me show you. I don't need that for right now. I thought I was organized, you guys. I thought I had it going on. I had all my carrots glued, and here I am redoing everything. Okay, so what I want to show you, let me bring it over here a little more. See with him up a little higher, how this makes a little more sense. If he was lower, this would be way taller than him. The scale's a little wrong. So this way, I can do a couple of them. Do one up high, do one up low, because I have a few of them. So um, I think that's going to be good for him. And I don't need all of the length, so I can cut a little bit off of this. And then I'll, I'll glue the foam down, set him in there, and show you guys. But I'm thinking that, um, put that down there. just threw it over my shoulder. I'm thinking that the alien tape, because you know the alien tape is not permanent. You can peel it off. So I'm thinking maybe just put a little alien tape on his butt and stick him on so he doesn't fall off. But he's removable. So I think we're going to do that. Let me make sure I get him positioned right. 
because I want to be able to put thing, items behind them and in front of them and on the side of them. So I think like that looks pretty good. So that's where he's going to live. And normally I'll just eye up, you guys, you can always do this. Set your, your second stack of foam. Just take your knife or whatever you can touch your foam with. Draw the square. Score it. And now I know exactly where to put this guy. Because especially when you're doing a design like this where that placement is really important. And once you have your glue in, it's hard to kind of hold it over and, and eye it and have it not screw up. So let's do that. Where's my little score? There it is. So I'm going to go right like that. So what are you guys up to today? Now that I feel like I'm ready, <laughs> I'm finally organized. It's like crazy. Crazy, crazy. Hi, Rita. Yay! Doesn't, Frenchie, doesn't that alien tape work good? I mean, it's a silly thing, right? But that box, like if you order the box of three rolls, you don't need a lot of it, but it works. It works. I like someone else had an idea, because I mean, especially the slick surfaces, glue does not like slick. It does not like glass. It does not like ceramic. It does not like tin. It just pops off, right? So um, I just, one day I was like, hmm, and I, let me tell you how I found the alien tape. You guys will laugh. Some of you know, some of you don't. Bob and I do a massive haunted house for the neighborhood kids every year. Yes, we are Halloween lovers, okay? No, we are not devil worshipers. Because I'm like, oh, you're like, no, no. We do it for the kids, um, and a lot of the kids in Reading, because not everybody has money to go to the Halloween events. They have big haunted houses at farms out here in Shasta County, but they're, they're pricey. So we do it in our three-car garage. It's pretty elaborate. We have lighting, we have sound, we have everything. It's real, and we have actors. It's really cool. So I wanted to be able to put things on the house and we have stucco and not mess up my stucco. I don't want to put holes in my stucco. I don't want to break that barrier and have moisture get in, whatever. So I'm like, what can I use? What can I use? So I went on YouTube and someone was using this alien tape. And I have these metal black cats. They're really cool, like thin metal. Um, where did I get those? I think I got those. Have you guys ever shopped decor steels? They have really great stuff. So I wanted to put those on the front of my house on either side of a window and there's like a little ledge like they're walking. It was perfect. Stuck a piece of that tape, stuck it to the stucco after Halloween, popped right off. And I love it too because you continue using that alien tape. So I have um, those, those plastic cutting mats, mats, not maps, that you use to cut vegetables. You just take it once you get it off your item. Sometimes it's hard to peel off and it stretches, whatever, just mush it back together. And then rinse it under water, stick it on that mat. You can use it again. So it is a great product, you guys. And no, I don't get any compensation. One day I'll get my Amazon shop going. Um, let's see. I, got, I can see a lot of words coming up. Let me see what you guys are yakking about. Because my eyes aren't that big on my phone. I mean, my eyes aren't that good to see that far away. Uh, Leanne can't stand because of work, but I watch replay. I wanted to say hello. wish you and everyone... A wonderful day, Lee Ann. Thank you. You have a great day too. I'm sorry you have to work. That's a bummer, but yeah, come back on replay. We'll have it posted later today. Um, oh, D, you liked my um, Halloween mantle. You guys, if you're new to me, look back to Halloween. Don't look how I looked that day. Oh my God, I looked at that on replay. I'm like, my hair was in a ponytail. I was a mess, but I'm like, I gotta get this mantle done right. You ever have? designing days like that where you're like, I don't care. I almost didn't put makeup on today to do this live. And um, so that's dry. I'm going to sit here and lean on this all day. So anyway, that mantle, I loved it. I And I love Halloween. So you can kind of see, well, I love all holidays. Can I just say, I love them all. Um, Halloween's always been one of my favorite though. I love doing things for the kids in the neighborhood. We actually had the fire department come in a big truck, one of those big engines. And they threw candy off the truck in front, because there's a big park of, across the street from our house they're building. But back then there was nothing. And they threw candy down to the kids. I mean, Channel 7, our local news, came into a little remote in our front yard. It's just so much fun and no admission. And what we do every year is we take um, donations, canned goods for our local Good News Rescue Mission. So we help the, the food bank. So no admission, but feel free to bring a canned good. And people would bring bags of canned goods. It's wonderful. 
So that's what we do, but back to that mantle. I love Halloween, and you can see it in that mantle. It came out really cool. I put a skeleton on the mantle, and it was one with articulating eyes, so he's looking around, and little skeletons climbing up everything. So search back in my videos, and you'll see how I create that whole mantle. Now, bring that up to today, um, I am going to create a spring one. I, I kept saying, I'm not going to do it. How, when am I going to have time to do this? I am. I'm going to absolutely do a huge spring mantle garland. So I'm already, I'm already planning on it. I've got like eight boxes out there from Michael's. Yeah, a bunch came in. I ordered a bunch of the stems and things because it takes... If you go back and watch the Halloween, and oh, go back and look at my Christmas, because my Christmas I do massive also. Um, that is, um, you can see the amount of stems it takes to do one of these mantles. It's in, incredible. It takes bins and bins and bins of them. So I'm going to do it, and I'll do it on the live. I'll show you guys how I build it. It's so much fun. And that was the one, um, that was the one, hi Angel, that I did. Not, no, not this year's Halloween, but Christmas a couple years ago. Three years ago, four. And did I tell you, um, O Magazine, Oprah's Magazine, contacted me, slipped into my DMs and said, we want to do a photo shoot. And I was like, so let me tell you how that went down. I'm in Women's Day Magazine. They picked me up for tutorials and stuff. Oprah's Magazine. I'm like, okay, I'm looking around. I'm reading this. I'm like, who's messing with me? Probably one of my relatives. Probably Bob, one of my kids. They're messing with me, right? Because there's no way Oprah Winfrey's magazine is going to contact me, right? When the, when the DM was sent to me, I was in the hospital. It's been a rough couple years. I did not take my phone with me. Um, Bob brought it, then he would take it back. I go, don't leave it overnight if I'm sleeping. I don't want my phone here. Oh, I'm fine. Did not check my DMs or nothing. I'm like, I got I to gotta get some rest get out of the hospital, and then like a week later, I went, oh, I gotta check everything, get back into things, and you know, get going. And this DM pops up from O Magazine, I go, so I message him back, yeah, right, who is this? You know, because my kids are jokers, Bob's a joker, I'm a joker, we like practical jokes. They go, this is such and such editor for O Magazine, this is, this is real, this is my name, these are, check me out, go to O Magazine, look me up. So I went quickly, I'm, I'm like going over and it was her and it was real. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And I go, yes, yes, yes. Because her, her question was, we'd like to shoot your mantle or I, I can't remember what it was. Like, I do a big production at Christmas. And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? My ship has come in, right? And I said, yes, absolutely. When? And she goes, I'm so sorry. We wanted you for the Thanksgiving weekend edition the deadline already passed because they shoot early, way early for, and you know, it's a magazine. They don't wait till that month to shoot it or whatever. And they had, they go, you were last minute. We saw you and we went, we got to get her. We got to put this in there. And they messaged me and um, they said, by the time I messaged him back, I had missed the deadline by like two days, two days. I was bawling. I'm like, okay, well, can you consider me in the future? She goes, yes, we'll come back to you. I said, okay, thank you. And then I got sick, of course, and took three years off with COVID and all that. So so I'm going to message her. Cross your fingers, say some prayers. I'm going to re-message the editor of O Magazine and see if they want to come out here for Christmas this year. So that was like, that was, oh my gosh, that was unbelievable, you guys. I was like, I was so happy and so sad at the same time. I'm like, how does this happen? Anyway, hi, Angel. So I'll stop talking about my past and but part that's part of like my business evolving and everything. I'm like, wow. I was just excited when Women's Day picked up one of my tutorials, so it was a Christmas week. But anyway, okay. So this is glued. Cut his off. I cut his tag off, you guys. Get your mind out of gutters. Oh my gosh. So anyway, so he will sit there. I'm not going to glue them. Let me take a little piece of alien tape. Where's my alien tape, Kathy? Oh, here it is. So they come in little packages like this. But I bought a box of three. But I try to store it back in because, you know, if you do any of this kind of crafting work or florals, 
there's crumbs everywhere all the time and I don't want to get it completely saturated with crumbs on the side. But let's just take a little piece of this and stick it on the bottom of that bad boy and so he doesn't fall off, but we're not going to completely secure him, so this stuff will be your best friend if you try it. Okay, I'll put it back in later. You can't get back in. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I'm going to put it on the foam first so I can push it in. Like you rub on it like you're doing a transfer kind of thing. You know, you make sure you really grind it into that surface really well and then peel off the little top which is always the hard first time you guys okay it's gonna be a good day and then I'm just gonna stick him on a little bit of an angle there right like that so he's not permanently installed I'll be able to get him off of this but he's not gonna tumble on me either right um, is that alien tape strong enough to ship with these items laying sideways yes it is so and do you, when you ship your items, do you zip tie through the bottom of the box with, with um, packing tape? But yeah, it is. Now, if you're shipping and you're worried, because um, I mean, they toss those boxes, right? Run a bead of glue around the item. So if I was shipping this with him on top, if I sell this, I'll probably say that he's removable and I'll tuck him in separately. I'll wrap him in bubble wrap. But if you wanted, if you had an item that wasn't this big to ship, because he would Anyway, I would run a bead of glue around the base too. So you have both, but because I'm not going to, you know, permanently install him, he's just going to stay like that. But I've never had a problem using it in shipping, so. But better be safe than sorry. Run out of bead of glue because you never know. It could pop. So, okay. So next, just saying I think he is a she. Okay, oh, a she. She's got flowers in your hair. <laughs> in her hair, you're right. She, she'll stay put, okay? My bad. He, she, they, uh, gotta use the right pronoun, right? Anyway. Yes, she is. She is the cutest one I have seen in a long time from any of the stores. She's so sweet. So we're gonna use one of that, these. Everybody asks me where you, you can get these. These are expensive. This was wholesale. Okay, so I don't know. Amazon, I looked on Amazon, I didn't see anything. I think Pam on the first wheelbarrow um, tutorial, she put a link to some, but I mean, it was like one was like $28. They're so yummy though. They've got the roots and everything. They're spendy. That's what's gonna run the price up on this guy. But um, I don't know, I need to research more and find a wholesale supplier because these are so fun in these big novelty arrangements. So, oh, it came out on that, let me. I worked ahead, but not not good enough. And you know what? Uh, I'm not gonna. No, nah, let me try to pick on. This is really has a large um, diameter, so the pick is only gonna go halfway. But then I'll throw a bunch of glue on it. Bunch of glue. All right. Anyway. Okay, so we're gonna put one right behind him here. There's my needle nose. And I need to push it down further, but I want to use my needle nose to do that. So I want it all the way like it's sitting on the foam. So it's not going anywhere between the glue and the pick and everything. And what's cool, look at this you guys, is his little roots are hanging out the back of the wagon. I love that. These are fun. I wish stores like Michael's sold more of the bulb, you know, the, uh, the bulb picks. It'd be fun. Last year they had little mini ones. Those were fun. Okay, so here's another one. Some of these are drooping a little bit, which is fine. Because we all know they droop in real life. But let me, I'll turn them around this way now so you can see them from the front. This will, you'll have to bear with me during this tutorial because we'll be flipping him back and forth. But I think another one would look cute here. 
maybe in this area. Of course, it'll be much lower because once I hit the foam. But I think that'll be a nice look for that. So let me, oops, let me get one on here. These are so fun. And they do take up some space, that's for sure. But I can't imagine if I ship this, what size of box I'll need. It'll probably be a nightmare. It'll probably be over $100 to ship it, but I just really like it. Let's see, let's go. Let's go here. Okay, I've got to get in there a little bit more. Okay, that's about it. It's not going to go any further down because that's the end of it. So, and then we can bend these out a little bit so they're not so stiff. But how fun is that going to be? Those little guys in there. The start of our neutral. Love the neutral look. All right, next. I think we have enough. I have one little pick of this, and I thought, well, where can I put just one piece? Because it was left over for something else I did. And I'm, I'm thinking there was a. Hold on, get this back out. I'm thinking one little piece might look good. Like you know how bulbs come up here and there, everywhere. So maybe there's a piece of one coming up somewhere. Let's see. Cute next to him. I like that. Let's do that. I'll put one right there. It kind of frames him off, doesn't it? Just a little piece there next to him. Okay. Scissors over here. What shall we put in next? Like I said, I want to keep this a little bit more in control. That colorful one is like out of control. It's got things going everywhere, which I love. It's kind of the look for that. But this one, let's, and we're gonna use the whites, the white flowers, which I love. But let's work on some greens. So I thought it would be pretty. Do you remember the last one? We were gonna use this and we took it out. So we were gonna use this and I had put it behind the bunny. And then later we looked at it and we're like, no. No, not so much, but I'm going to use it. The pick's still in it, but I'm going to cut it down to use it just so we have some nice, wild, glossy green, leafy items in here that look a little more realistic. We're still going to put in, you know, pieces of like this, but look at the contrast with that. So I want some pieces that look real. We're also going to use some of this kind of eucalyptus so we keep it kind of real. And of course the fern. You know i got to put that fern in here. But let's cut this guy down and add a little bit of this. I think it'll look really nice. So let's cut this here. We can get quite a bit out of this one stem too. Which I love. Okay. These are going in the back until I need them. Okay. So for these puppies, let me put some picks on them. So I can't wait to do that garland over the fireplace. I'm really excited about it. And it's funny as I have, um, if you haven't watched it or seen the tutorial, I use chicken wire. That's how I get so big because I've had a lot of people say, can I buy that? And I'm like, it's built on site, so no. But I want to show you a way that you can do something similar without installing chicken wire. And when I say install, I don't, I don't permanently secure it, of course. I use like the huge 3M hooks and it goes over those. But 3M hooks stick out so far that the chicken wire sticks out like this much from my fireplace. So it doesn't mar it. So it's great. You can actually get stems into the chicken wire and down. And that's how you make the huge garland. But um, there's a way you can do, 
it's similar, and I'll show you guys that too. So I'm excited about teaching that because everybody loves these garlands, and you know, I'm thinking if I do this one pretty neutral, I could probably take it into fall and then add some pumpkins, and then maybe maybe August-ish do fall, so you can see fall. But then I gotta do Halloween again. I gotta do it. I just can't not do it. So anyway, we'll do that. This guy's tipping a little bit. I didn't know why. Okay. So I want some of these little greens up by him. Because they're so cute. Oh my gosh. I love these. Uh, that's a crazy one. So let's just add a few of these. Little one behind him. Little one right in front of him. Just it makes it look really realistic, and I'll turn it around. Sorry you guys can't see. This is a hard design to do on camera. Even if I had my overheads going, you wouldn't be able to tell what I'm doing. So I'll just do a little section, turn it around. So if you find some greens, doesn't have to be these, anything that's branchy, cut them down. So I put this piece here. I got this piece a little hidden and one coming out in front of them. So we're just framing them a little bit. And do you see how this is gonna be much airier than before? It is, I promise. I'm not gonna go crazy. Love the look. So this is a big one. And this big one, this is like the biggest piece, I think needs to go in this section here. Because I do want it to cascade out a little bit, even though it's not gonna be real dense, the arrangement. So let's do that. Put this guy right over here. And it kind of fills in that gap between the um, the bold leaves. Because I put that one single leaf in front, nothing in between, so it looks kind of funky with nothing in between. But look how that kind of bridges that gap right there, this guy. So anyway, that frames that whole area nicely. Let's turn that back around. And then let's have one coming out the front. I'm going to bend this down. This one's a little sparser with leaves, but I love it. And yeah, we need something coming out the front. Because remember when you're doing this type of arrangement, don't stick in between the four walls of your wagon. Have things cascade out. It'll make it look way more interesting. So this one's kind of branchy. I wonder if I had, did I bring any more in here? I thought I did. Yes, I did. I might want to replace that one. Hold on just a second, guys. This one's a little too sparse. See how sparse it is? So let me find another piece I can put there. This is a good one. This is a good one. You know, you got to have the right branch, right? got to have the right branch. So let me do that. So I'm going to bend this down. These are floppy. I think I talked about that before on the, the wreath and the um, basket I did the last two days. They don't bend really strong. Like some stems, the wire is so strong, you bend it, it's not coming back up unless you rebend it. This kind of flexes a little bit. So it's like you may bend it down, but then little by little, it's going to pop back up again, which is fine. But it's so cute. And I like that little bit. We may save these and put a little more later, but for now that's good because we're keeping this in the category of less is more. So there's a little piece cascading out right there. So let's see. It's looking pretty funny right now, huh? Uh, I bought her after seeing your live at Michael's. Oh, awesome, Dee. Is that the stem from Amazon? Can you show the skew? Yes, I will when I'm done here. And I'm sorry, the last few lives I haven't answered every comment. We're, we're in crazy mode right now here. But I'm going to sit down. I've got to take a couple hours and answer everybody. I will put the link to Amazon for those because they're so pretty. They're just, these look like real branches. I love it. They're so nice. Those will look beautiful in a garland. I'm tempted to buy like 50 of them for that mantle, but we'll see. i got to check my budget. Spent a little too much money this month. Just saying. Okay, so next. I want to see how these look. 
These are the really tall silver dollar eucalyptus stems from Hobby Lobby. And I always end up with scraps of them when I'm working with them. So, like, they're long when I cut the bottom off. But I have these pieces, and I like the look because they look so real, just like those. But they have a little bit different texture. So let's see about putting a few of these in if they're going to look. I think they'll look really good. So let's, let's put a few of these in. Here goes my picking machine right off the table. Okay. I think I want one behind this guy. You're not going to notice them that much. They're kind of going to blend. But they're, even though it's staying airy, they're filling in a little bit more. And it gives you a little bit different color, which I like. So, just a few of these guys. I'm going to bend them around and I'll turn, I'll put two of these in and turn around and show you. And we need some things trailing out anyway. So I think those are cute. I might do a few more of them. So there that is on that side. And the other one is up here. So just a little hint of it. Not going heavy on this stuff. Just, just some little branches that can help you know, fill in a little bit without not being, without being too heavy. Without not being too heavy, I can't even talk today. It's like, seriously. Like every day. Okay, turn it back around. I still love those, uh, those roots hanging out the back there. Those are cool. Let's do, let's do right here. Got tiny pieces left. So throw that down there. Just need like one or two more pieces. Not too much. Turn this guy around now. Because I think someone asked on the last one, like with this guy, if you cannot find that guy, very possible you can't. I mean, you, they sell the full bowls with the flowers on them. You could use that. Try to find them in white so you don't have color, or you're just going to have to have a long stem of greenery there, and it'll be fine. You'll get the same design, um, but I don't want you to think, what do I put there now? So that would be my suggestion. If I didn't have these now, I would probably just be putting a few more of these guys in, and it would be fine. Okay, so back here, I think we're going to put one... And you're not going to see it that much. It's going to kind of peek out here and there. Um, but it's going to fill. So we'll put one right there. A little bit. Of, I like that. See how it's coming through that bulb right here? Kind of looks cool. Okay. And I'm thinking we're just about done with that. Don't need that. I just want to look. Because I know what other elements we're putting in, I don't want it to get too crowded. Maybe one more little piece, I see, an area that needs one. Okay. There. So we're going to do one more piece, and I think we need more cover in this area, just like in the middle of the basket. Not in the middle, but I think we need one in this area here to make it make sense. Then we'll move on to another item. Watch me knock my wheels off turning this guy so much. Okay, so let's put one over here. Yeah, I like that. So it's cascading out. And then I think I want, now that I did that, okay, so tell me what you think, guys. Now that I did two pieces of that eucalyptus here. I think I need the dark green leafy coming out too. So let me grab one more piece of that. And no, I'm not going to try to fill it up. This is what's hard because it's like, okay, stop, Kathy. You're going you're gonna to get it too full. But we're not going to. We just want a little bit more. Let's see, I'll take this piece and this piece. I'll try putting these two together and see if this is enough. Um, 
I just like to have the balance of the greens and I have the dark green throughout, but here it's just that light gray green. So that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm thinking now that I need a piece over there. It looks strange, like it's missing something. So let's put a piece of this kind of scaling out a little bit. And we'll kind of intertwine it. Yeah, it's very subtle, but I like it. We'll bend that down a little bit. And keep this up. Yeah. Much better. So now I have this little piece up here, and I bent this one down just a little bit more, and I think it, it did really well. So I like that. Okay, so we're done with that. We don't need this because that would be too much. Let's add just a few sprigs of this dark glossy green. And this is going to be just to bridge the gap cover a few holes but not be too solid. So I like the dark, especially when you're going neutral. Now these do not slide up at all. Now some of them you can slide them up and make it a nice little bunch. These don't do that. So I think I might cut one stem in half. Yes, let's do that. So one piece of this bush becomes two. So a little short piece and a little short piece, because I don't want this coming up into these heights. I want this to stay low. But this will be a good little little guy to fill in around the bunny. So let's put a little piece here. So we're just going to fill in a little bit. These are so strong, these stems are strong, that you wouldn't even need to pick them, really. I just want a few little things around him. And then I'll turn it back around. And I'm cutting these down. This I'm going to do a double one so it's thicker because I see a piece where I just want a thick piece of this. I'm going to show you what I'm doing and all these in. So see how these bridge the gap. I have some in front of them here, just little pieces here and there. We're not going to go solid, but we're bringing the arrangement down. The last one kept coming up and he got covered. This, we're going to keep it low, low and sparse. So just little pieces. And then in between, I can plug in some fern. And of course, you know, he's not permanently attached, so it'll be nothing to take this out and set something else on the platform. It would be super cute, like 4th of July, set a little Uncle Sam on there. Um, you could just set a flower pot with some summer flowers in it. So there's a lot you could do with this arrangement if you don't install your bunnies and your carrots. So I like that, I like it a lot. Because this would be a shame to use for like one or two months, I think. But this bunch, now this one, I think I just cut myself. This bunch, I don't know if I put this in the, you know, the Michaels um, post I did with all the direct links. So let me know, this was called Seeded Boxwood. So if you guys, did I put this in? I just saw a thumbs up. So if I put it in, if not, you guys take advantage of this because this is a great bush. You get a lot on it. It was originally, $15, it was expensive, but there's a lot of pieces to it, and the color is perfect, I think, anyway. But when you take the 40% off, and if you have any coupons, it, it takes it down pretty good. Okay. So we'll put a few over here. Just want a little touch of this here and there. about all I'm going to put of this in the front. See how it's just sprinkled here and there? 
but it's starting to fill it up. I'm going to put some in behind the bunny, though. This is a good filler for behind him. So let's do that. Just a few little pieces. I think I like this design better, not so packed, honestly. I think I do. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the other one, but for my style, I'm digging this pretty good. Let me show you the back now. I need to do the side too, or, the, or the, this back. Let me show you this side. But look how just a couple of those stems covered all this in right there. But it's not too bulky and it didn't come up high. Last time I had higher stems and I made almost like a fan. And this is, this is super cute, so. One more little piece on this bush, so let's use it. And then we'll move on to another type of greenery. Because I don't want it all dark. I do want some lighter greens coming in on this. So that's good. That's all we're going to put in um, that element. That's already coming together. So this is what I'm thinking. We're going to add more greens. We're going to add our whites, right? But look at this, you guys. So we're going to add those white carrots. But I want to show you that if you took just a few of these neutral eggs, because I'm a neutral girl, and you just place them. We're not going to put, you know, picks on them and install them but look at then you can just place a couple of these in those big voids right just place a couple you don't need to fill up this whole cart with greens and then if you come to summer and you pull these out then maybe that's where you put your summer blooms just a few you know um, so I'm not going to go crazy with this with a lot more gosh I love that look Look at that, just with those two eggs in there. We don't need a lot in this basket, right? So I may, I may just place those now where they're going to go, and then we can add the whites and the white carrots and a few more elements without going crazy on product. It'll keep your cost down too. So we have those three, and then I had, let's see, either another green or another white. Which one do we want in there? I think... Which I, I think this is a little bit smaller, but I'll have to take off the uh, the ribbon. Hold on, and pull that out. Yeah, I'm talking to myself back here. <laughs> talking to myself again. Okay, so I'm thinking this guy. Let me move this pick. So before you get too far, add your eggs, because like I just took a pick out that I put in because I don't need it now. But look how cute. And then I can actually put this back right here. No, I don't need it. I don't need it because I have other other items I want to put in. Look how cute that is. And you actually see the eggs, right? So let's put, let's do carrots next. Some of those white carrots. I don't, okay, I want you guys to help me out on this. Do we put orange carrots in this even if we're just setting them? 
or do we just stick with white carrots and white flowers? What do you guys think? And let me show you what I got. So, I've got the little striped. I've got solid orange too, but I've got the little striped carrots that are so cute, but then I got the white carrots. Do I do both, just a few, or do I stick with all white in here? Or do we need some orange to bring in because he's carrying orange carrots? What do you guys think? Everybody vote. Thank you, Dee. So cute. I love that. Thank you, Frenchie. And he says, put a few orange. Everybody else? Oh, I also have these from TJ Maxx, the little short oranges. So we don't have to do the big in your face, maybe one or two if we add orange, just to bridge the gap. Orange, orange. Sandy says orange, Dee says orange. Angel says both. And I think you're right, because if we just did white, it's like, okay, there's nothing to bring these into the arrangement, right? So I think what I'll do is put a few little stakes on these. Uh, of course, I did the white, I didn't do the orange because I wasn't sure. Um, so let me do that real quick. I'll kind of motor this guy up without pushing him off my table. And let's put a few on there. I think that's a great idea. So here's all our whites. Oh, do you guys like the striped ones or the solid ones? These are the really big ones, so there's three different ones. These are sizal. I'm thinking I'm liking these, because these are a little bit brighter, but I'm kind of liking that one. Or do you like those? So one, two, or three. Which carrots do I put in of the orange? Vote, vote. <laughs> one, the sizal. These are both like, um, twine that are, are uh, colored orange. So which do you guys like? These have really tall greens though, but anyway. Travi says one. Annie says one. Travi, Annie. So Annie says one. Sandy says one. Kathy says one. Nancy says one. Thanks guys. I agree. We're going to use one. Okay, we'll put these aside. Yeah, I think it looks... I think it matches these guys a little bit better too. So we're going to cut this apart. Let's pray these aren't glued together. So I almost grabbed out, yeah, they're not. I had these in my stash from last year. Look at these little striped ones. Are those adorable? And I went, oh, I'll use those. So I cut the raffia and they're all glued together. I can't separate them. That was a bummer. So luckily these aren't. So these guys, let's see if I can get a steak up them. I may just have to glue it. No, nope. it's working. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Glad you're on today. Thanks for watching. Stakes on. I'm not going to glue these into the foam though, so that way they're easy just to pull out after the holiday. So we'll let that dry a little bit. I'm going to use this to prop it. Don't want to glue it to my table. Come on. There we go. Oh, sure, it just flopped anyway. Okay, let's try this one. There we go. Get this one going. Let's see what you guys are. Yes, you can continue with the felt on this. 
Um, I usually just cover them with the greens, you know, they stick, the top half of the carrot sticks out, you don't usually see this far down. Um, and you can also put some moss on them too, but that's a great idea. Orange felt, I like it. And these are way too long, these sticks, but I just thought, well, I'll put them on and see what I need once I get going. Okay, a little more glue on that one. This is what takes so much time, is waiting for these darn things to glue. I thought I was ahead of the game. I forgot about the orange. One more to do. And I think I'm going to cut a piece of this one off to do that. There's two. So has anybody made a wheelbarrow? Kathy, or not Kathy, Annie, did you end up doing your little wagon? Did you like dive into it? I'd love to see what you come up with. I love that wagon. I keep thinking about it because it's got that little bench in front. It's like a little butt board wagon she bought. And I'm thinking, how could you do this? It would, be, it would even be cute just to keep the one buddy in the back, put some eggs on the seat or something, I don't know. Or a little flower pot tipped over with some carrots falling out of them, or um, it's a little bit different design where this is just one solid container in front, you know, the wheelbarrow, but I, I can't wait to see what you do with it. Did you try? Just wondering if you dove into it yet and how you're doing with it. Come on, it's getting there. Okay, I'll let that one dry a little bit more. We'll start with these. Okay. So, we have one piece of that left. Let's see where we're going to start with this guy. Before I put any more greens in, I want to put these carrots in. Because as you see, we're not going to need a whole lot more product in here. Just accent flowers and a few little pieces of different greens and the fern. Got to have the fern in. But I'm liking this more sparse look. I think it's a good look. But let's get some of these in. So I'm just going to scatter these carrots. And then like these have the stake up the back, um, so I'll probably have to put a piece of greenery or something on that. But oh, I love these little guys. Love the little carrots. This is the last of them, unfortunately. So I'm also thinking, where are the big carrots going to go? They're going to live, I think, toward the back of this thing. Right in there. So cute. I might need that right. So they're just so hanging out. And I have one more that's hiding over here. I'm going to put him up here because I know there's, there's going to be an orange carrot behind this one. It's not going in the direction I want it to. Let me reinsert that. Time to charm. Just want the right angle on that guy because I know that there's going to be a larger one behind it. Okay, look how cute with the white ones, you guys. I'm just saying. These white carrots were just so cool this year. So there's with our white. So see, we have a few over here. Got this guy over there. 
just a little touch. It's all you need. We're probably using half the materials that compared to the last one. Remember we used all those tulips and it just went on and on and on. And this one is a little more calm and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay. So now let's see. Some of these are dry. Yes. So we can put some of these big ones in. I'll kind of get those going. Let's see. I'm going to trim this a little bit. So this one's going to come over in this area here. Why should it go here, right? Just talk to your stems. Such a good fall. Okay, let's put that guy in. Right there. So this one's going way up by the butt, I think it's cute. Get my needle nose back in there so I can push them in. Because I don't want to break off that stem I just installed on him. But sometimes you just need to do your greens and then add your accents. So you can kind of see a little bit more of where things need to lie. Look at with just the two. And you guys were dead on. I really wasn't sure about, I mean, I didn't just do that to say a poll so you guys comment. I really wasn't sure about the orange, and I think that's why I didn't put the little stems on them, because I thought we probably won't use those. But look at that. Look at how it pulls the orange in from him. You've got it kind of distributed with the orange now, and it makes sense. It just goes, ah. Kathy says, perfect. Jamie says, adorable. Lisa, hi, Lisa. Thanks for watching today. Um, Tamanika, I've never made a wheelbarrow. Tamanika, try it. They're so much fun to make. Um, let's see, who else? So I think that's all the comments right now. So let's see if we need a third. I think we might need a third. I like threes. Anybody else odd numbers? So but let's see where this would lie. Maybe right in front. I'm not going to add any more um, eggs, I don't think. Uh, I don't like that there. Maybe over here. Let's put the gun in. I thought I'd put one up here, but let's see. Nope, let's put it toward the back. I think a third one was warranted. What do you guys think? So we have this one coming out over here. It's a good look, right? We've got the three, we've got the little ones. Now, do we go overboard or do we stop ourselves? Do we need little ones? Do you think we need a few little ones or are the white little ones sufficient? Say yes, little, or no, little, orange, so I know what your comments are. Well, I know where we are on the page right now. So it's funny when I go back to answer you, they're like, yes, yes, yes. I'm like, what were they answering yes to? So you'll see your yeses and I'll go, oh yeah, I agree. Some of them I know exactly where we were in the design, but I have no clue on others. So yes on little orange or leave it the way it is. What do you guys think? Vote now. He looks like he's been working hard. Isn't he cute? I love that little guy. 
Nancy says no. Who else? Sandy, what do you think? Kathy, what do you think? Frenchie? Deanna, hi, thanks for watching. Jamie, what do you think? Lisa says no. Tamanika says no. Jamie, are you still there? Angel, are you still there? So is everybody thinking no? Like it might go over the top, don't you guys think? If we added more of these, it'll get too busy. I think simple and less is more, right? Maybe one small right front between the white. Angel says yes, no, maybe one falling down. Hmm, let me look, let's see what we can do with that. Let me open this and see what we could do. Because we can always place it, right, a little bit later. So, do we need a small orange, just one? Do we need a, just one, like right there? A little one? Or no? Or yes? Now remember, we still have white flowers to add to. But I can't find my place, but somewhere in there. I don't know. I don't know. Just try one to check. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that, and then we could stand back and look at it. So let me put a stem on this, because I don't know if I can just, oh, I can probably just set it. It's kind of taken away, let me do this. I'm gonna move this little bunch of green from in front of him, because it, it's like too much with the green. And then let's see if I put this right in front of him, like that. It kind of like plays off everything he has on his mouth, like he's picking them from right there on the ground. What do you think about that? But of course the angle will be a little better because I'll, I'll actually put a little um, stem on him. What do you think? And then falling down, I don't understand what you mean by falling down, but if any white floors, one more. If any white florals, one more orange to balance the color. So it might, it might, that's what I'm thinking. So how about, let's do this, because we're kind of, a lot of people like it, some people don't. I'm going to put this aside. I'm kind of liking it, honestly. But let me put it aside. Let me add a little bit of the white. I'm not going to go crazy with blooms. We really are. This isn't that kind of a design. So let's, um, let's add a little bit of the white, a little bit of the fern, and then we'll set that back in there and see what we got. Because, no, I've not built this before. It's like, I built that other one, but every time I do big novelty arrangements, each one is a little bit different. I just love this guy so much. I love her. I love her. <laughs> Don't hate on me. I love her. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay. I also thought what would be cute. What if we had a little succulent coming out of the wagon? Wouldn't some succulents be cute? Thought we might add one or two of those. So, anyway, I can just keep going and going. So, now I'm wondering, do we need a lighter green? Because I did pull these for this. But what do you think if we just added some of the white blooms and then some of the fern? Or do we need a, a contact? contrasting green. Light green, yes or no? We're going to put fern, no matter what. You know me. i got to put my fern in. But um, really, I'm wondering if we need the light. Okay. Sandy, yes, the lighter green. Sandy says yes, okay. Deanna says no. D says yes, both. Might add some contrast, huh, where it makes it more interesting. So two yeses, one no so far. Let's add just a little, and I'm talking just a few little pieces. I don't think we need a ton of it, but I think it's pretty, pretty flat. That's how I like to describe it. It's like when you have all dark green, it's going flat, and I think this will go, oh, look at that. 
it'll just brighten it up a little bit. So let's try it. I think I'm only going to need one bunch of this, so another Michael's little bush from spring. This one was called bo uh, just boxwood. This is just boxwood. I really like this one. So, okay. Let's have a few pieces and you guys can tell me what you think. But I think it's going to be a winner with it. So we'll start in the back here. Some will be hidden a little bit, which is fine. Some will be more in your face. I think we need a little piece coming out over here by this carrot. Yeah, I think you guys are dead on again. This would be such a fun workshop to do. I would love to do one of these if they weren't so expensive, but the price would be astronomical. But what a fun workshop to have. Everybody creates a wheelbarrow. Wheel Wouldn't you guys love that? When I get to the point where we do a big weekend retreat, we will do a big item like this. But I'd love to do one now, but find the phone there. So see, just little pieces that come out. What a difference. Very smart, you guys. We needed this. Okay, I want a little piece back here. By this carrot. Just a little bit peeking out. I'm going to cut this into two. So even these, cut them into two, two small ones. So I'm going to have a piece right in front of the rabbit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, I like it. You guys were right. You always are. It's kind of nice crafting with uh, friends in the room, even though I wish I could hear your voices. Um, but it's nice because sometimes you get stuck. Do you guys have that where it's like, oh, do I put that? What do you think? So it's nice to, to craft with people that can look at it and give you an opinion. Because sometimes you just get stuck. Yes, I just got into a second bush, but I see a couple little pieces that are needed. So I need one little piece right down here. We can lengthen it. This is the perfect sage green too for a design like this. Perfect, perfect green. I need a taller piece back here. I gotta, gotta find a film. Because of that bulb, it's taking up all the space. It's poking me in the eye. Where's the foam? It's like, where's the beef? Don't see anybody back there. Yeah, I'm being a dork today. Okay, so we need a little piece there. Okay, I'm looking. Let's see, one more area. Oh my goodness, Kathy. Seriously. Seriously, seriously. But I need to leave space for the, um, too low. I need to leave space for the fern. So, but I just see a place where it's like, okay, we need a little bit of that sticking up. Just a bit like that. But is that going to go away with this? Nope, just enough. Okay. And then over here, yeah. There's still a bunch of gaps, and I'm going to do the back of it now, but see how that green just made everything pop? I like the two colors of green, and I, and I do that every time. It's like I try to use three or four, and then different textures and colors, and it just adds that dimension you need in your arrangement. So do you guys like that? Was that good? Thanks for helping me on that one, because I was like, oh, do we use it? Do we not? What do we do? Help me out. 
so that's nice. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this in the back um, so it doesn't look strange, like we just stopped. Even though this is one-sided, you need to sprinkle it here and there. So I used two, two full bushes of this, but lower it. around and show you the back. This little piece is, is drooping, but I'm going to take that one out. Now look at the back, how it fills in so nicely. So we're getting to the point where, again, we're not, we don't have this huge, massive arrangement, and it, but it's filling in. We don't need a lot of moss either. You're not going to see the styrofoam by the time we're done, which I love. So let's add some blooms, and then we'll add my favorite, the fern. You know what, I'm excited about too because I ordered a bunch. I think I ordered 20 bunches of this online and it's sitting in a box in my hallway. I haven't unpacked my order yet. I can't wait to use this at Christmas. This will be gorgeous at Christmas. If you didn't get it, you guys get online and order some of it. In Christmas arrangements, it's going to look so fresh with Christmas greens. It'll look amazing. So this is like an all year fern. Love it. Okay, so now on the lights, I think... I was thinking of going with those. I think because I will be putting this on my porch, I think I need to add a few of these. My favorite Cosmo, right? Um, I thought of going with the others, but I'm like, it, I want it to kind of pull into that garland that I'm creating. So let's put a couple of these. I have to wait till Monday when they're on sale again because I'm going to need a few more, but for now. I think I have enough. And I have just enough to finish the garland, which I'm going to be working on today. Um, so let's put a couple of these because they're just so wild. They're that airy wild look that we need in this. It's going to be perfect. Love these. So I'm going to pull out an egg so that I can push these in. I love that these are just sitting in there. This is great. Fantastic. Put that egg back. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, these were the white blue. I'm telling you, fern, if you buy anything, Cosmos from Hobby Lobby, fern from Michaels, they are perfect. No, this is not an infomercial. But look at those. Look at how cute. They're not too heavy, they're airy, they're perfect. Like they're just sprouting out of this wheelbarrow. I love it, love it, love it. So, let's put a few more of those, and then it's fern time. Um, Angel, just got a whole huge wholesale order of ferns. They are so pretty. Yes, they are. Um, so, Deanna, these were, I try to stick with items. I am going to wholesale because, like, I'm, like, scrambling for what I need. Um, this... Since I started back up recently after a, a, quite a long illness, I'm trying to use items that, that people that don't have resale numbers can go buy locally. This is Michael's. They do sell bunches like this all over the place wholesale. And next year, I probably won't be searching out Michael's. I've got my license, I'm gonna buy a bunch. So that way I can say, hey, they're in my um, Shopify store. Go over there and click and get them and you don't have to search. So. But these, for now, if you need some greens, you guys, these are amazing. Michael's Spring, they're 40% off right now. So, and let's see if there's a tag on this one. I must have cut the tag off. Anyway, it is in, a, there's an earlier post. If uh, you haven't been watching me that long, I put a post in the, the front of the post. Now, there's a, there's a cat cut little video I did that showed different of these, like it's flashing on the screen. That's just, that was just President's Day weekend where get your order in, it's the last day. But prior to that, there's a full post with one of these on the front. And if you drop into comments, I have direct links to Michael's for all these products I've been using. 
so that you don't have to search because it's kind of hard to search their website. It is if you know what it's called, etc. But if not, you've got to click through and there's hundreds of different spring stems. So I tried to, to mainstream it for you or streamline it for you, I should say. So you're welcome. Um, I wish, yes, I wish they made them in baby pink and in raspberry. I mean, I would take them in every color. And that's another reason why I'm going to go to market because I know wholesale they sell them. They have beautiful stuff. So, but these are just, these are knocked out of the park. They're crazy. I did pick up some pink ones last year. I know, last year, I'm sorry. These were the cl closest thing I saw in hot pink. And these were Michael's last year. Aren't they pretty? So I did find those, but the, the stem is very plasticky. What I liked about this is the dusty green stem. It's not shiny at all. Where this does have a little bit more of a plastic look, but in an arrangement for spring, they're good. So, but I'll, I'm gonna see if I can scope out some in different colors for next year or so. Okay, let me get the rest of these guys in as I keep chatting again. So we're gonna put one over here. And I love they have the little buds on them. Or I, I don't so they're not so much buds. This is like when the petals fall off, you end up with these little guys left over. So they're just so cute. So cute. So we're gonna put one over here, like this white guy. We need to lengthen it. Too short. So I want some hanging out on there. Let's put this over till we use it. But see how just a couple on the side over here make a difference. I'm not gonna remember. So we've got them here, and then we've got them up over here, right there. Just, just a little touch. And I'm thinking maybe one more toward the middle, because again, odd numbers, you guys. So when you're looking at this, you're like, okay, there's something missing in the middle, and it's this. So we need a couple more up there, just so it makes sense. around a little bit and this is going to go right next to our bunny and kind of leaning I'll turn it because I got to turn it around and put it in it's leaning too much but it's going to go right in that area there so let's see how I can get this in here and standing up a little straighter uh, a little more hype a little more hype on this guy Gosh, I can't even stand this. It's so tall now. Oh, you know what I can do? I can go on the side of the, the phone that he's sitting in. So, and the other thing I like about doing this this way, um, this arrangement, like I said, we want to use this into summer and maybe even fall, right? So by using the white flowers, they're, they're very, you know, just simple and they're not really seasonal i mean they are cosmos are summer but they'll just go they'll go with whatever we're going to do so i love it Sorry, I didn't my phone didn't understand that <laughs> oh my gosh that's funny siri is always listening okay so let me get this where i want it to live I love that their stems are super bendy too. Yeah, so we needed just a touch of that up there and we're done with these. So let me turn that around and show you. Because it's almost fern time. Look at that. Look at how those white flowers just like pop. And I like that it's kind of pulling the color of the container into the arrangement too. So that's the white. I love those. And now my question is, do we need a few of these guys? Let me cut one off and you guys can tell me what to do. Tell me what to do again, please. So, you know, these little ranunculus, 
Do we need a little a bit of those, like low in the arrangement? What do you guys think? It's hard for me to see where I'm pointing these, but, or should we just leave it simple with just the white? These are more of a little bit of an off-white, but it might be too busy, huh? Might be getting too many things going in there. What do you guys think? Annie says yes. Um, I don't see stars yet, but I'll look back through the post, Annie. Um, and you just have to have real touch tulips. Wow, Angel, good deal. Real touch tulips at Walmart, three for four bucks. They are worth it. Sandy says no. So on these little white, white ranunculus. Let me turn it around and look. No. I'm not even going to let you guys all vote. I am with you, Sandy. It is a no. They're too yellow. They're too greenish yellow. And it takes away from the white flowers popping. They really do. So we're not even going to pull on that one. It's, it's a no for me. So, okay. So we're not going to do those. So... Next is fern. Yes, we've made it to the fern. This is going to make it come alive. Do we need some succulents, though? What do you guys think? A little bunch of succulents in here? Or is it getting too busy? Am I going over the cliff? Succulents? No succulents. Succulents? No. If I don't put succulents, there'll be a piece of fern hanging out in that space. That's kind of why I left a little sparse here and there. But what do you think about the succulents? Yes, succulents, no succulents. Vote now. I do need you to vote on this one because I'm torn. I don't know. I don't know. They're kind of cute. There they are just sitting there. So you can see. Nope, just ferns. D says yes. Angel likes them. Uh, anybody else? So we have one no, two yeses, Lisa's fern, so Lisa's a no, over the cliff. Yeah, there's always a cliff, right, Tamanika? Um, there's always a cliff that I try to go over on every design. Do you, do you ever do that? <laughs> Where you got to pull yourself back and go, stop it. Okay, so let's do this. We're kind of even. People, some people, I mean, some people are like crazy over succulents. I put succulents in something and it's like gone in a second. But let's see. Let's add the fern first because even if I added these, I would put the fern first because I don't want to put these and then put fern over it and have these disappear. Kind of like my wreath yesterday, those succulents disappeared. Um, I should have put them in later and I'm still going to. Oh, I liked whoever, I, I can't remember who it was because I was reading through quick, quick last night, but whoever said heat it up with a hair dryer. Seriously, that is so smart. Heat the glue up, pop it out. So I'm probably going to try that later on that wreath. But let's put these in first. Rip them apart again. And we're going to cut them down. Well, let's add a few pieces because this is what just finishes off your spring arrangements. So we're going to break these down into little pieces because we don't want it heavy, of course. We want just touches of it. It makes all the difference in the world. So we're just going to add a few pieces here and there. We have it just kind of flowing, flowing, flowing everywhere. And of course we need to be flowing out of this little cart. If I can find the I gotta scoot them up. If I can find the foam, this little this little guy. Okay, I'm gonna add some foam. This guy went way deep, so I'm gonna add some of this fern and then put him in, so that he's not so hidden. Cause he really he took a deep dive into this cart. So I'll lengthen this a little bit. And if I put a little bit more in, it'll, it'll give him a little platform to sit on, so. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to love this fern in here. So pretty. Seriously. Seriously, seriously. 
not well enough. This is where that bottom piece of foam is so low. It's like to get down to it, it's hard. But we'll get there. Perfect. And I love that there's small wires in here in this fern that you can. So Siri is searching short wire for me. <laughs> Siri. Stop listening. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I love that you can put some gentle curves on these so they droop. Okay, real pretty. And I was actually going to use the fern we used on the other design, which is this. Remember these? But I think I like these way better. This is a little bit heavier. I don't think we need it. I think we're just going to use the touches of these and call it a day. So creepy how she is always listening. Creepy, creepy. Okay, let's have a piece coming out here. This is really covering the foam too. Any little spaces I could see through, this is covering it right up. So I'm, I'm not going to use any reindeer moss in here at all. That's why I like waiting till the end to add that. And then you don't waste it. I also have a, a few pieces of that, I think it's like a Boston fern that we're going to use, so uh, a few pieces left over from last year. Oops. Pop that out. I'm trying to work around, I'm like, let me just take it out, get the fern in and then put it back in. Duh. Very pretty. Little fern living everywhere. Let's get this piece going. So here's just a few pieces. Let me put this egg back in now because he was really hidden. I'm going to actually switch the, the order of them so I don't have two white together. And then I'm going to reinsert this carrot. I'm talking to myself again, you guys, but I see design issues, so I've got to switch things up a little bit. So this is pretty simple. I didn't go too crazy with it. I gotta do the back with the fern. But look at what this fern in here. Oh my goodness. Isn't that pretty? Just little pieces coming out here and there that just make all the difference in the world. So I'm gonna need another bunch out of my stash here. Let me throw some in the back. And then I have some of this. This that looks, I have little pieces. This looks like a, I guess, a Boston fern. See the different texture? And I think it'll look nice to add the different texture of fern with the other. So we're gonna add some of that too. Let me get the back done. A few pieces of the back here. <coughs> and I like that this arrangement is low. Don't you guys like that? It didn't come way far up out of this um, wheelbarrow. It just has a much better look, I think. Much nicer. Not 
Not that the other didn't look good, but it's a different type of arrangement. It's a little bit more busy. I was actually going to try to put some white tulips in here, but I don't think you need them. And I like the fact that because I don't do that, we can transition this into summer. Tulips are spring. They scream spring. So you can't really transition tulips into the next season. Okay, I'm having a hard time seeing this. Where is that foam? I'll take this one out to see down there. A little too short. There we go. Yeah, that's funny, Timonika. It is like going over a cliff. Um, that's my way of putting it, that you're, you've just gone a little too far. Like, rein it in. i got to rein it in. <laughs> I'm going a little too crazy with things. And you can with your designs. It's like some things just aren't needed. You keep going and going and going. You're, you're increasing the cost of your arrangement. And then it actually, not just that, but it gets so busy that there's too much going on. So... Sometimes I have to rein myself in. Okay. Okay. So those. I need one more piece over here and then we'll add the other fern. turn around that back so you can see the back of it, that fern in there. It just, I have it here and there. Oh, I see not one more little piece I need. But actually, I'll use this. Where there was a piece on a pick. Here it is. One little piece back here that is needed. And that bridges that gap really nicely. Okay, now we're going to add in this other fern. But see how we just have it spilling over? It's plugging all the holes without being too overwhelming and big, like big, huge, you know, stems and whatnot. I like it. And then now in the front, we're going to add a little bit of this fern. And these guys actually, you know, I can move this. I don't need my glue gun anymore. These guys, I wish Michaels had brought these back, but I will find, I will find them. I'll find them wholesale, but I will find them. I'm on a mission. And I know they sell them. It's like you look at some of the wholesalers. They have so much of this green, you know. I call it the um, terrarium greens. I mean, there's a lot of it. And it's beautiful. So, um, we'll be on the hunt for that. I need a piece right here. But I don't know if I can get down into that. I really have to lengthen these. These are short little bunches. Love it. Love this stuff, you guys. These are so pretty. And remember, rip them apart. Rip your, rip your ferns down in these little, little pieces on here and there. They go so much further because they're, they're not the cheapest little bunch or stem to use. So when you do that, it goes a lot quicker or a lot farther. So love them. Make little bunches. Let's see if this will go in. No, it will not. Sometimes I think I should have just put another double little um, 
piece of foam even on the end, whoops, so that I could get these in there. But I'll just lengthen it and get it down in there. And I need to lengthen this carrot because he's lost now. Come on, carrot. Come on out. But he's gotten too low. So we'll fix him. Let me put a couple more picks on him, bring him up. see him so and the eggs are still a little recessed but this is part of just setting them in there so I just got to pull them forward a little bit and let's do a couple more pieces of this and I think we got it I think we are done we still have that orange egg that we can or the orange egg the orange carrot that we can look at so in case we want to put that guy in three little twigs here and there like it's just growing out here and there oh the whole thing came out come on really Let's start over pay attention I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing I have to get ahead of myself so we like that then we can get it down to that foam there we go. Perfect. So it just spills out a little bit. I need to put a few more around here. Okay, two different kinds of fern is really a good look. Really, really a good look. Let's look in the front here because I don't want to neglect, I didn't finish all the way around the front. A few pieces coming out there. I love that it looks like he's literally sitting in a meadow again. Seems like all my novelty spring arrangements I say that, but it's just really cool. When you start building it up like this, it just looks so natural. So natural. Yes, without going over the cliff. That's just my term. Do you guys have a, a term you use when you know that you're just going a little too far with what you're adding to an arrangement? It's like, okay, rein it in. Rein it in. We also need to use that term for when we go shopping for stems, right? And supplies. Oh my gosh, I'm like, put, don't even get a card. Just go and look. Don't even get a card, I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, it can be bad. Okay, we don't need this everywhere. Back here, I just want one little piece, I think, just to have the continuity, but I don't want it in every little space like I do the front, because it's just an accent and it's covering back here. But I like having, let's see, a little piece here, a little piece here. I have one more, so let's see. I'm gonna look all the way around this and see where there's an area that's just lacking that might need it. Pretty darn good. Oh, I broke my carrot. I broke my carrot. Look, it, now he talks. See? So I got to put a little glue on that. Note to self, do not bend the carrots once they're in. They do not bend well. So, but he'll glue right back together. There we go. He was at the wrong angle, and I thought the wire would just bend, but it didn't. It just snapped him. Let's see if this can go in here. Oh, that glues. Just a little piece there coming out. Now we'll put 
this guy back in. Back here. Maybe back here a little bit. Okay, there's another one that's hiding. Okay, hold on. Hold on, people. Let me put him over here. Because I do want to show you guys that orange carrot again. There's one back here that I completely hid. So let's lengthen him a little bit. Luckily, we have the technology to do that. So let me go right here. But you can see, you can actually see. There we go. Okay, so now let me turn that around and we'll look at that carrot because there's there's no real carrots in the middle. This one needs to be longer too. Sorry, I'm seeing my problems here. Oh, did I just set that in there on the stem? So let's get this one a little longer. So we see it over here hanging out the side. Okay. So, you guys, see the white here? And then up over here, do we need an orange one in the middle now that all the fern is in and everything? And of course the eggs are just sitting there. But if I come over from this side, because I'm done turning him around, and then this could come down, you know, I need to kind of work with this. So it, but do I need a little orange one right there? What do you guys think? You know, in front of them somewhere like that? What do you guys think? little orange one or keep him out and then let me move his little bow right there but what do you guys think um did you decorate the goose no i i was waiting for you to ask i have not done the goose the goose is coming up i need to build one then do the second so it is coming up i need to go buy some more succulents because i want to do succul succulents and florals on him but i have two of those to do Yes, Sheila, that's true. You can't just buy, let's say I need, you know, three or four ferns. You have to buy a dozen or 24. So you do have to buy quantity, but I buy that much anyway, so it's okay. But when you're just doing for yourself, it's not economical, you know. And let's see, I want to end this. Um, when you don't like it, you are stuck with it. Yes, I got a big wholesale order in this morning. Can't wait to open it. Sheila... Yeah, it's so much fun when you do that. Um, did you decorate for it? I tried to find some. Yeah, that was that was home goods, and I, I was so surprised I found them. Okay, back to the back to the carrot right there. Carrot yes, carrot no. So we have two here, we have one over there, and we have all our little whites distributed. Do we need one orange because he has orange in his mouth there a little? Or shall we just ditch that? one orange one. What do you guys think? What should I do? And I love that we can just set these in or take them out. We can set him in and the carrots. So I can pull all this. And if I don't sell this one, this one might go on my porch if I can fit it. Um, it would be interesting to take it into summer. Pull those items out and do it. So Lisa says yes. Frenchie likes the last carrot. Um, Angel says yes. So, yeah, maybe we should put that last carrot in there. Because I think it does kind of pull the little carrots together. Because obviously he doesn't have a huge one in his mouth. So let's try that. Let's try that real quick. And I gotta put a little, I gotta put a little stem on him. Also, it'll be easier to take him back out when we're done. So let's do this one. And I gotta glue it. Yeah, it's so fun when you get an order in like that wholesale. Um, it's like Christmas for people that do what I'm doing. 
it's like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see all this stuff. Especially if you went to market and then it's been a while since you've seen it all. It's like, oh my gosh, so much fun. And the quality, Michael's is very nice. I mean, this quality this year was pretty good, but the quality, what you buy wholesale, I mean, some of those companies, they're like off the hook. It's so realistic. It's amazing. Okay, I'll get this to dry so I can put that in. Oh my gosh, yes. One of those cabbage picks. I love that. Even cabbage would have looked cute on here. Could have done two big eggs and a piece of cabbage. I love that. Because it's like he's in a garden, right? Yeah, that, that would be really cute. I like it. And I'm thinking we don't really need the succulents. I think the succulents would get lost, honestly. We could put them. But here's my thinking on the succulents. Yes, they would be cute. But there would only be one. One little group of them. And then is it really going to add that much to put in a pick of succulents that cost... I don't know, I think these were like $7 for one little bunch. So I'm thinking no on the succulents just to save some money on it. And I can use them in something else. So now if I was strictly doing this for myself, I probably would add several succulents in here. But I think too, you go over the cliff. Okay, you've got all these elements. Now you're adding a succulent in there. I think we could go a little too far with that. Okay, this is just about dry. So let me stick this guy in here. I think this is a, a good uh, decision. Oh yeah. And he's sticking up right in front of that guy. Yeah, I like this. I need a little bit more of a angle on him so he's not too up, up straight. Yeah, good choice you guys, as usual. Look at that. Look at him. Oh my gosh, I love this. I've got this hanging out here, though. This is that single pick, I think, isn't it? No, that's part of it. I just need to bend it. It's part of the, um, part of that little bold guy. So I'm coming around this side so I can see and not have to keep turning it. Yeah, I like that. We've got this little green sticking out. So we have some of these little elements that you barely see this really nice Amazon green there. That is supposed to be a ficus. But just little hints of the eucalyptus. They're not in your face, but they're in there growing. So I like that. It looks like a natural garden with all these different elements growing. growing. And the different greens, the different ferns, just makes for a nice look. And then in the end, we can pop them out and turn it into the next season. So not too much. We could even pop out the, um, I did glue them though. We could pop out the bulbs, because the bulbs in the summer, nah, not so much. So, I, thanks for the help on that, you guys. All those decisions to make, and sometimes you just need another eye, right? Can someone tell me how it works with the stars? They took like $10, but didn't post stars. Is it a credit until I send them all? Yes, as far as I know, because I am very new to stars myself. I have not set up my bank account with the stars yet, but I will get them, because... Facebook or Meta tells me you have stars connect to bank account. So like setting up my Shopify or my Etsy, I've got to do all that this weekend. I've got to get it going. So I do get them. They're in an account for me. And then what they do, I guess they're, is it a penny a star or something like that? They don't give them to me until I reach $100. So that's how it works for creators. So if those of you else that have a business page and stuff, if you're not aware, that's what happens. So I guess they save them up and then they send one check out or a deposit, whatever. So, um, so never, don't worry about that, um, Annie. If you sent them, you can send as many as you want. You don't have to send them all. That's great because depending on who you watch or whatever, sprinkle them around. It's really nice. It's a really nice thank you because like me, I don't, I mean, I used to have a membership in charge. I don't anymore. I'd rather just bring it to you guys. So that is a wonderful thank you to me. I love that. Um, Tamanika, I'm going to have to grab one of those rabbits. The, um, it was Michael's. And I know my Michael's is out. They went pretty quick. Um, but I think they still have them online. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. Tamanika says it's perfect. And that's that cabbage. Oh my gosh. 
the cabbage is <laughs> so cute in the summer. I love that. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks. Thanks for hanging out while I made another one. I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to watch because I was just going to work and get it done and, and not do a live on it because I thought, did they want to watch that twice? Um, oh, that little piece can go right back there. Um, so, so I appreciate that. And it's so nice to bounce questions off of you. What do you guys think? Because, I mean, this is like right up here in my face. So I can't stand back and look. And I mean, I guess I could, but it's just nice. It's nice. Something else I want to show you. Look at how those bulbs, you can still see the little, the little roots hanging down. Isn't that sweet? So this, this has got to be one of my most favorite spring designs now. I love it. And I love the fact that we can remove some of those spring items and continue it into summer. So anyway, there you guys go. We've got more to do. So also, um, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of the name of the group that I was invited to. Holiday, Holidays Design Group, I think it is. Tamanika, aren't you a member of that too? And tell me if I got it right. So I was, it's a, it's a private Facebook page with, um, thank you Tamanika. It's a private Facebook page for designers that bounce things off each other. Or they share whatever, you know, product, they do lives, they do everything. So I'm a member of this group. I'm going to put a link in so you guys can join, everybody that's watching, my followers, and you can join and it's awesome. It's like um, all these designers, all these ideas, designs pop up every day, all day. It's like, I'm like, oh my God, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. So it's almost better than Pinterest because it's all right there. And I think it's some of the best in the nation are on there. Um, it is holidays. That's where I saw you first. Oh, that's awesome, Sheila. So holidays designer circle. There it is. Holidays designer circle. I'll put a link um, because Cindy sent me a link this morning. But you guys can um, you can if you just you know search it now on Facebook. You can just send a request and they'll let you in. But the reason I'm telling you is March. What day is that? I don't have my calendar. March 15th or 16th, it's a Friday. We're gonna do a holiday home tour for spring. And they asked me to tour my house. I'm like, I'm alive, I'm like, yes, yes. So they sent me a list of some of the gals and I've gotta look them up. Um, oh gosh, what are the names? One that stood out was Holiday Bobbles. I guess she's gonna, was it Holiday Bobbles? I think, was gonna Annie? She's gonna be doing it. There's a couple of them. So I guess we're all getting together on a live and we'll each have so much time and we get to show you our, um, our how we decorate our house because I go all out every holiday. I am the holiday queen, I'm telling you. I do the porch. I do, if you could look back at my Christmas, my Halloween, I do the house up every single holiday. It is such a fiasco around here because like, okay, bring all the bins in, bring all the bins out, you know, because I have my stash for my business, but then I have my personal stash. So, so much fun, so I can bring it to you. So join the group so you can watch that live. I'm gonna be giving away something for free on the live. You have to watch the live in order to be eligible to win the prize. So, and, and they said um, a bunch of the designers do that too, so that's, that's really fun. So anyway, and then this weekend I'm gonna do a live. Today's Wednesday, so I believe Saturday, I want to see what time, is it, Angel, are you doing your live on Saturday, I think? Um, so Angel, I think it's Angel that's doing the live Saturday. i got to look back through my notes. Um, so I want to make sure I don't um, do it at the same time as her because I'd like to watch hers because she's going live for the first time, which is awesome. So um, anyway, um, I will do a live and I'm going to give something away on my live just to celebrate the 10,000. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm also gonna have, Angel says yes, awesome. So Angel, what time? And I'm California, so are you central or? Um, so we can get that out there too, because you guys, you know, obviously I would love for you to watch my live, but also put her on your schedule too. It'd be awesome. And show her some love and support because it's her first and so it's like, do it, girl. Do it, girl. I mean, just like do it. Like, look at me. I'm, lean, I'm here leaning and talking. That's really all you're doing. So, 
and it's awesome to be able to ask people questions about design choices. So um, it's at 1 p.m. Central. So how many hours, because I'm like stupid in that, how many hours is that after Pacific Standard Time? So if it, like right now, it is a little after 1, what time is it there right now? You're at 1 p.m. Central. Is it going, uh, is she going, yeah, she's going to go live on her Facebook page. Let me look at here, because I can't see that far. So, here goes my glue gun. Hold on. Bear with me. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. So Annie, okay, 1 p.m. Central. So it's 3 p.m. here. So you're two hours ahead of us. And I know that Annie is in New York, so you're three hours ahead of us. So, because it's only one o'clock here. So two hours. So if you're going live at one, you're two hours after us. So I'd have to be on at 11 to watch you. So I'll, I'll do the math. I'll, I'll read this again because I won't remember that, but. Um, okay, Sheila, there's a day-long stream of ladies in a group going live Saturday from a new group. I thought I had kids coming and so didn't sign up. Oh, bummer. Yeah, I think that's what this is. It's like I was invited into the live for these designers to do the tour. And, um, but I think it's going to be because they asked me, do you need an hour? I'm like, I hope not because I'm just going to walk through my house. And I'm like, ooh, i got to clean my house now. What the heck? But, you know, mine won't be that long. I mean, I guess they say talk to, talk about yourself or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Also, if you join the group, I was very excited to learn that someone nominated me, actually several people, to be Designer of the Month, too. So I'm like, oh my gosh. It's like, anyway, very humble, very excited about that. So, I mean, not that I'm, I don't know if I'll get it, but even just to be nominated, because I haven't been in that group that long. So that's kind of cool. So, Angel, absolutely, absolutely support you. Um, so, that's what's going on with everything. Tomorrow's Thursday. I'll be alive again. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I may end up just doing some more garland or something. I've got to get that front porch done. Now the pressure's on. I've got to get the porch done, and I've got to do the big garland in the, over my fireplace. So, i got to work on that. And then... Did anybody go back and watch my time lapse of me building that massive spray on my buffet um, that I posted? It has, I think, over 11,000 views now. I'm like, whoo, that's just on Facebook. It also is kind of trending on a little bit. It's like four or 5,000 on TikTok. But I'm going to do the mantle, and I'm going to do that big spray on Alive and show you guys how to do it. Because there's tricks. Anybody can do a massive arrangement like that. These are like event arrangements like that you would use in a wedding or something just massive. And it doesn't take that much to do it. Nothing is secured in foam. Everything is just free falling into the container. But I'll show you how to do it. And it just, it's so easy. You're going to go, oh my gosh, I can do that. Because you guys can. So I'm going to do that on a live too. So all that's coming up in the next week. Because i got to get it done. I have two weeks until that tour thing so I got and I gotta clean my house oh my gosh and find something to wear I'm like oh my gosh um I could not get that live of the spray so that wasn't a live that was just a um I posted it I think two or three days ago it just said here's a little time lapse of spring decorating it wasn't a live and it's literally a time lapse it was a two hour arrangement that it took me to build and it's just like 10 seconds or something in the video. So look for that, Frenchie. Um, and if I think about it, Frenchie, I'll tag you so it, you can go right to it. But it's fun. Oh, Annie, thanks for sending the stars. That's so awesome. You are awesome. So you guys are just awesome for being here listening to me chat all afternoon. It's like, oh my gosh, does she ever shut up? I mean, I raised all boys, you guys. I, I grew up, or I grew up, I raised two boys and a husband. I've had no girls in the house for almost 40 years. So come on. I, I need the girls, okay? Thanks for being my girls. Everybody needs a girlfriend. I, oh, I also... So if you're in the Reading area, I know most of you are, are out of state. My bear, dear, dear, dear friend Charity, if you're watching, hi Charity. She doesn't always pop up and say something, but or she watches me on replay. She owns Reading Florist. 
So she does fresh flowers. She just bought the business from her mom. Um, anyway, just, just a great, wonderful person. She's going to start doing workshops. So if you're in the Reading area, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to get her to come over and do a live with me. And we're going to do a live at her shop. She doesn't know it yet because she came over last night. We're talking about it. But if you're in the Reading area, we have some fresh flower workshops coming up. It's going to be amazing. And she wants to do fresh flower a wedding series. So I'm like, perfect. So that's coming up if you're watching in the Reading area. So stay tuned and we'll be doing a live and she's Reading Flora. So if you're not already following her and you guys, even if you don't live in Reading, follow her. She's just trying to get into the social media thing. So I want to support her all I can. She is a wonderful soul. She is a beautiful person. So Reading Florist. And I'll see if I can put a link on her page in the notes up here or in the um, comments. So anyway, so a lot of good things happening this spring here in Reading. I love it. So anyway, I'm going to go now. Um, Tammany, good things for watching and commenting and Annie and Frenchie and Angel. <coughs> Excuse me. Sheila. Losing my voice. Talking so much. All of you, I know there's a lot I miss. I'm going back up. Nancy, uh, who else do we got on? We got Lisa on. Dee, if Dee's still there. Sheila, all you guys, thank you so much. Sandy, all the comments just help this push me out. This engagement is wonderful for me, so I appreciate it. And I'll bring you more. I got so much, there's too much up in this head. So I've got, uh, can you see some of these buckets back here? <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much that needs to be done. So we'll bring you some more, and then giveaways are coming up, so keep watching, and I'll be back on tomorrow. We'll do it again. It'll be in the morning, because I've got my granddaughters in the afternoon, and my oldest granddaughter's getting braces today, so I don't have her today, but I can't wait to see her teeth when they're all done. So anyway, guys, all right. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you, and uh, Annie, thank you for the stars, and we'll see you tomorrow. I'll put another... Going live at this time. Probably be 10, 30, or 11 by the time I get around and get all this organized again and figure out what I'm doing. So I appreciate it. All right, guys. See you later. Bye now. Have a great day.